Hey everybody, Troy here with Fields Family Cooking and Outdoors. I hope everyone's enjoying their Independence Day weekend. It is Monday, July 3rd, and we are going to smoke a pork butt today. Uh, I've got some videos started from last night when we started prepping it. We're also going to throw on a stick of bologna. Get some smoked bologna today also. But uh, yeah, I'll start the video now. and hope everyone's having a great weekend. Okay, we have an eight and three quarter pound pork butt, and it has already been trimmed. I did a little more trimming on it. But as you'll see in a minute, it is really clean. And we're going to use the uh, Griffin's mustard as a binder. We're going to go with the gospel from Meat Church in the Honey Hog Hot. And it tastes really good. So we'll see how this turns out. Okay, now we're just setting this up with some mustard for as a binder for all of our seasonings. And as you've probably heard before, this does cook away. You don't get the mustard taste, so don't be worried about too much mustard on it because you do not get any flavor. This is literally just a binder hold all the seasonings. This is a really clean pork butt. We got it from Sam's Club. We found that they have some really good cuts of meat, especially whenever you catch them on sale. Okay, then we'll go next with the gospel, meat church gospel, all purpose. And let me open the proper end here. We're gonna do this tonight. This is the night before we smoke and let it sit all night in the refrigerator. And tomorrow I'll take it out and let it sit, get up the room temperature. Looks like it's sticking pretty well. Let me go ahead and get my edges and I'll try it again. Really not having to do much padding. It's sticking pretty good. And I think what I'll do tomorrow is when we put it on. I okay, we've had the pork butt in the refrigerator all night. As you can see, it sweated down really nice. And now we've had it out of the refrigerator for about an hour and a half now to bring it up to room temperature. So it's ready to go in the smoker. So I'm going to add a little more seasoning I'm not going to rub it in I'm just going to kind of add it around the edges in the top that looks good okay we got the smoker rolling I'm going to put this on 275 today so right now I'm just letting the smoke get going. I'm gonna let it preheat for about 10 minutes. But uh, we love this pit boss. I know it's kind of small, but for just my wife and I and our small family, I mean, it works great. I've got the top rack in today so I can put some bologna up top and on bottom. So I'll do half of a stick and then also do some slices up top. But uh, we use this a lot. I mean, I can easily get a turkey in here. I can get a brisket and put other things on top. I mean, it's, it's enough room for all of us for sure. But. I've shown everybody before. The other side 
the grill. So, works out great. So now we have our smoker rolling. Close it off. I'm going to run it on 275. Actually, 250. That's what it is. There we go. Alright, we just give it a little time to preheat and we'll be good to go. And there you have it. It's time for a nice slow cook. I'm hoping it'll cook in about uh, seven hours, eight tops. It's only eight and a three quarter pounds, so I don't think it'll take more than seven or eight hours. But we're going to cook it at 250 for a while. I may bump it up to 300 depending on how our time is doing. But as you can see, the rack got really close to the pork butt. It's a really thick pork butt, but I at least have room for my bologna. And it doesn't touch the rack, it just comes right up to the bottom of it. So now it's just the waiting game. Okay, everybody, it's been teetering on 170, 169, going back and forth. I checked our mark. It looks really good. As you can see, where I throwing the bologna on. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the pull port. We're going to cover it now. And I will show you what we're going to do there. Okay, there she sits. We pulled it, as you saw, 169, 170. It was teetering back and forth. So we're going to sprinkle with some... Meat Church Gospel. And then I'm going to put some butter on it and wrap it. I will show you that. Gotta have a little butter. Butter makes everything better, as they say. Okay, we have the pork butt back on the smoker. We covered it. It's got the butter, seasoning, and we're going to take it to about 202 to 207 degrees. So we'll say 205. I have pulled the thermometers because we don't need those anymore because more or less you're going off of tenderness. And so once we get it to where we want it, which usually is about 205 where it's tender, we will pull it. And there it is. We pulled it at 207 degrees and it is falling apart. And this is where the magic happens. We'll go on shortly. Oh, do you want to turn that? And now we dust it again with the honey hog hot. Oh, they're first. That's what's going to be at the bottom. Because if that's it, like. And there it goes. And the taste test. Muy excelente.